Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com. Now does your Android home screen look a bit dull and boring? Would you like it to display all that information that you really need all in one handy home screen? Today's home screen provided by Xnet called Infinity will help you do just that. Here's the tutorial right now. Bam! Xnet has really outdone himself in this one. It has got everything you need in this screen. I mean we've got, got our applications little bar tab that comes with our most used, our shortcuts as well as our Google search and as well as our favorites, a little heart there bringing up our favorites. Underneath that it will be our general tab that comes with our battery percent, our notifications, even our weather. You can even put in a little note there if you want. This all coupled with this amazing snowy landscape for the background combined into one amazing home screen that you definitely want to try out. Now I'd say this home screen is slightly advanced and by advanced I mean it just takes a while to set up. There's nothing hidden or tricky about it. It just uses UCCW, semi folder, and that's it. You can also use multi live wallpaper if you want to change the background, but you don't have to do that. Then this will be a perfect addition to your home screens. Let us begin with today's tutorial. Okay, starting off with our very stock SS launcher, we'll start off by removing all the widgets that we have here. So you just simply hold it down, drag it in, hold it down, drag it in the bin, do all of that for all of those. Once you have that, you want to get rid of the, the labels at the top. So you'll tap menu, pages, label fonts and style. And you want to go hide labels, apply changes, boom, it's gone. Lastly, two more things we want to change is to go back into our menu, go into preferences, you want full screen and hide the dock bar. You go back and now you have a completely blank screen. Next what you want to do is change the wallpaper for this current background. So you go back into menu, go pages, go current background. Now you want to add an image and then just find where you saved your wallpaper. Yeah, that one. So it's called infinity, we'll tap it and it makes it look like this, all nice. The only thing that's missing now is our desktop visualizer as well as our UCCW widgets. Let us begin with those. Okay, starting with our applications at the top, we can see that there's a Google search as well as our favorites right there. So to add each of them, we'll go widgets. We'll add a one by one desktop visualizer for the, for the Google search. So we'll just resize that. The awesome thing about SS Launch is being able to make it teeny tiny icons. And as always, to fine tune it, You've got this little joystick type thing here which you can just fine tune like that. Once it's over there we'll tap it and go select icon you want your blank PNG so we'll go quick pick again and you look for your blank PNG there. You'll select action you want your Google search there. You want to clear the label touch effect you can take off I sometimes leave it off go OK. And so now when you touch it, it'll bring up Google. Nice. Over here we'll have our semi folder. So we'll hold on, go widget. Don't know why these are all blank, but they just are. So we have our semi one by one. Now I've already created these folders. You can do them quite easily by going into section settings, add folder, add whatever folder you want. And it's quite easy to just add in the different applications you want. So for that one, it's my favorites. So there it is, it's blank now because I've set the icon in the settings to blank. So all you want to do now is resize it again so that it's teeny tiny. And you want it there, fine tune it. Boom, that's that completed. Now for the general part, that one there is your semi folder to bring up applications and that's your desktop visualizer to bring up your settings. Okay, and finally we have our two UCCW widgets over here. Let me get zoom in a little. So as you can see here, we have our battery widget and our weather widget. Those are two UCCW skins, and I'll just show you what each of them comprises of. So for our for the left side skin, we've just added uh, three static texts: battery level, battery bar, Gmail, missed calls, and text messages. So our battery level is here, as well as our battery bar. Now for our battery bar, I've just made it the width of 391, a height of two makes it align like that. And for battery level color, we want this one right over there. Cool stuff. And then for our static text, I just made it low, medium, high. And our notifications we put at the bottom. If we go to our static text, I made everything size of 27, as well as a typeface of quicksand book. 
going into the weather widget, you can see that I've just added the current condition, the temperature, the current conditions, as well as any static text that you would like to add there. These two would probably take you the longest time as it takes some tinkering of getting it into the right size. But what I like to do is say for our low, for this over here, I'll first add in my low and then get everything else lined up and that makes things a bit quicker. And there we have our home screen of the day. I hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Please check out mycolorscreen.com for the latest and greatest Android home screens. Please subscribe to the channel as there'll be many more videos to come. Thank you very much, guys.